think I get this out onto the interwebs a little late, but <clears throat> Valentine's Day there was a shooting in Parkland, Florida at a local high school there. The gunman was a former student and he had been in trouble with multiple multiple times in, in the school to the point I think he got expelled but he also ended up joining I think a white supremacist website or group or whatever anyways he went to the school with an AR-15 and he had posted comments on YouTube videos about he wanted to become a professional school shooter Okay, no one really took him serious. The FBI didn't take him seriously. Big shocker there. Um, so this school shooting got got taken out on Valentine's Day. By the way, there's 17 confirmed dead. There's I think 14 or 15 more wounded. And the young man got caught. Great. Fast forward, the shooting happened on Valentine's Day yesterday, not yesterday, but yeah, yesterday on the Megyn Kelly show, he had a psychologist or psychiatrist, and he said, well, we're inundated with violent first-person video games. That's bullshit. That's bullshit. Because... You're going to condemn a media for this n dumbass's mentality. No. No, 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 no. As a gamer and a person who plays Battlefield, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six, um... He, it wasn't Call of Duty, it wasn't Battlefield that caused him to do this. It wasn't like, oh, hey, I'm going to go into this school. Oh, I got 17 confirmed kills. Okay, I'm going to unlock this perk. No. No, 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 no. The wiring wasn't correct up the stairs. Then they went into this guy's past. Okay, the past was he lost his parents. Which, okay, that'll put you in a depressive state. I lost my wife in June. You know, some people are still going, Wow, how do you get up every day to go to work? I'm like, because I need the money. You know, yeah, I think about her, but that's a different, you know, I'm kind of going off on a different rant there. But anyways, so, then he said, then they said, first they said it was violent first-person shooter video games. So, we're going to condemn Battlefield, Call of Duty, Rainbow Six Siege, because that's a first-person shooter again, instead of really looking at this guy's mental history. Then they said it was all these little things. He was always a loner. Okay, if you're a loner, that's fine. There, I know people that are loners. I am a loner every once in a while. When I want to do something on my own, I'll go and do something on my own. <laughs> but, um, I'm getting, I'm kind of getting a little sick because mother keeps fucking around. But the fucking psychologist or psychiatrist, he, he, he kept coming up with all these stupid ideas. Alright? And Megan Kelly even said it, and I kind of agree with her. He's going to take a lot of shit from the gaming industry. Because they're gonna all of a sudden not look at this guy as, oh, uh, we have to we have to tone down Call of Duty. No, you know. Well, this this is gonna make people go into violent rages. No, the swatting incident that just happened a few like a month or so ago. People go, well, we need stricter gun laws. We need a president that's gonna do something. No matter who you vote in, they're going to have their own agenda. So going on, 
Sandy Hook Promise. You can Google it. Um, made a like a public service announcement video. Style, styled video. And they were showing. They were talking about how to how to find the um. Crap, I lost the word. How to find out if someone's going to enact what happened in Florida. And it showed two kids going through the school year. And there was one kid who was bright and so like, I'm, it put, I'm bored. And somebody sat down at the desk, not desk after he did that, put high board on, uh, Hi, board. It's nice. I'm nice. It's nice to meet you, or something like that. And they go through this whole little diatribe, and he, you know he's going through his Facebook on his tablet, and he went past the one. There's a couple shots where it shows a guy with a handgun and little things like that. So at the end, of, towards the end of the video, you know it's getting ready to go to summer. They're getting ready to leave school for the year for the summer. You know he goes have a great summer. And she said, so, he says something to the effect of, I'm bored. And the girl goes, wait, no, he says something. No, it's the way he wrote it. And he wrote it the way that he wrote it on the desk. And she goes, you're bored, aren't you? He goes, yeah, how'd you know? And they, they were, you know, goofing around, being silly. And the gunman comes in, drops a backpack, and starts opening fire. Then it goes, now these were the signs you missed. Resets back to the video, to the beginning of the video. It goes, while you were watching Ethan, somebody was showing signs that they were going to murder somebody. They were going to go do a school shooting. And it showed the kid in the background was reading a handgun magazine. Um, then they would be in, I think they were like in a classroom, and he was watching a YouTube video on assault rifles and how to clean them and how to fix them and everything. Um, then it went to the scene where he was flipping through Facebook on his tablet and they showed the scene the picture with the kid with the gun and they showed they slowed it down at each instance and you know you kind of you could kind if you didn't pay attention and you were because again you're focused on the person in the front you don't really pay attention to that person in the back well, that's great if they're showing all these things. This chucklehead's Facebook page had pictures of him with handguns, knives. I think it had the AR-15 that he used. I could be wrong. And, like, it had a bunch of different pictures with it. Okay. But here's the thing. Don't condemn an industry. Video gaming is a big industry right now. A lot of people play games like Call of Duty, Battlefield. Um, <coughs> excuse me again. I'm still kind of getting sick. The weather's still fucking around up here. And they kind of get bitchy with it. They kind of use it as their main mental... Locked up. Oh, it's violent first person shooters. It's always violent first person. It's never the wiring in the head was. <laughs> no, it was this. So, violent first person shooters. Wait, no, it was. Soon, next, they'll go after Grand Theft Auto. They've been going after Grand Theft Auto for years. Because, well, in the online portion. You know you can buy 
guns and ammo from ammunition. Oh, well, he went to ammunition, bought the AR-15, bought the clips, and he kicked somebody out of a car, took off, drove to the school, he waited till there were no, there. he, he waited, and then he opened fire, so he get the five-star warrant with the cops and the SWAT team and everything come rolling in on him. And it was just like, come on, guys. Stop using this as a fucking excuse. And to the psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever the fuck you are, go fuck yourself. Genuinely. Go fuck yourself. Use violent first-person shooter games. Uh, it was Call of Duty. Uh, it, was, it was Battlefield. Uh, it, was, it was this. It was that. Really? I have 395 games on that system right now. Or them. Or Call of Duty games. And I think I've got like another four that are Battlefield games. Whoa. You're going to commit. You're going to go on kill streaks. You're going to get perks. No. You're a fucking idiot. Um, to Nicholas Cruz, you little piece of shit. You need to go fuck yourself. In hell. For the 17, mer the 17 plus dead that you created. Good job, you little fuck fart. Hope they give you the... People fucking sit there and go, You shouldn't be mad at him. Really? I shouldn't be mad at him? Because of the fact of the matter that he killed innocent teachers. He killed innocent students. That may or may not know this kid. Sorry. When I went to school, the most I worried about was getting beat up by a gangbanger. And that was the early to mid 90s? To the, to the people of the school in Parkland, Florida, my heart and prayers go out to you. To Nicolas Cage and to the psychologist, psychiatrist, again, whatever the fuck you are, you can go fuck yourself. The both of you. That's it. I'm out.